What up, everybody? Instructor Beats back again here with Order of Operations Lesson 3. Let's see what we have behind the shield. So your objective today, today I will be able to solve multi-step computational problems involving fractions and decimals by using the order of operations. So the exact same things we've done the first two days, but now today, instead of having whole numbers, we're also going to have fractions and decimals. But before we get into that, parentheses to start, exponents the next part, multiplication and division left to right is smart, add subtract is next, left to right is best, now you've done the equation and your teacher's impressed. All right, that song gives me goosebumps every time I love that song. That's probably my favorite instructive beat song right there, Order of Operations. So we've done parentheses. Um, we're going to be doing exponents next lesson. We've done multiplication and division. We know we go left to right because it's the same fact family. We know when we add and subtract, we go left to right because it's the same fact family. So we're doing those same exact steps. But like I said, today we're just going to have fractions and whole numbers, which don't change anything. This leads us into our Knight's Truth. And our Knight's Truth today is that anything you can do with a whole number, you can also do with a fraction and decimal. Now, the reason I have a, a slash right here is because fractions and decimals are really the same thing, just a different way to write the same value. And that includes the order of operations. So some people, when they see a fraction in a problem or a decimal, they freak out and they think everything changes. Nothing is changing. Anything you can do with a whole number, you can also do with a fraction or a decimal. So let's take a look at an example. So if you notice over here, we have our steps, right? We got our parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division with our arrow left to right in addition and subtraction. So I know that if I have parentheses, I need to group those together first. So when I group these together, I'm going to get three and one third. And then I need to rewrite my next step. Again, kind of getting me ready for algebra when I'm going to have to do that, but also being neat. The hardest part about any grade levels math is being neat. So now I've done all my parentheses. I don't have any exponents. I do have a multiplication symbol. So I need to multiply three and one third times two. Okay. Now to do that, Here's what you need to do if you showed your work. Do not show your work underneath your problem. This is your organization area. You do not want to mess that up. You want to do that either on a scrap paper or on the side over here, but not underneath because this is where you want to write down your steps to make sure that you didn't skip a step and that you're being neat and organized and you know what you're supposed to do next. So if you don't know how to multiply, please check out our uh, fraction playlist where it teaches you but basically the way I teach it is you're going to turn this into an improper fraction which is going to be 10 thirds times 2 over 1 you multiply across that's going to be 20 thirds and when you divide that your answer is going to be 6 and 2 thirds so when you did 3 and 2 thirds times 2 the solution to this was 6 and 2 thirds so as you can see, I'm following the same steps. I just have to know how to do my operations with fractions and decimals. Let's do this one together. Now again, I have uh, two operations inside my parentheses. I know I need to do my parentheses first, but inside I have addition and multiplication. Once I get inside the parentheses, I go through my steps. I know that multiplication and division come before addition and subtraction. So I need to multiply these two fractions and rewrite the rest of it, okay? So that's not a subtraction sign, that was an underline sign, which I could see why that'd be confusing. So this should be addition, okay? And then over here again, you don't do your work underneath because you're gonna get messy. You do your work on the side or on another piece of paper. So two fourths times one half, if I'm just taking the shortcut, is going to be two eighths, which is one fourth. There's other ways to do that. That's just a shortcut where you just multiply across, your teacher might have taught you how to do an area model. However you want to solve that, that's not important today. What's important is following the steps of our order of operations. Combine those, I got one fourth, okay? And again, that's still in parentheses. I haven't closed out my parentheses yet, so I can't cross it out. And then I have plus four, okay? Now I know I need to finish my parentheses by adding one eighth plus one fourth. Let me erase this work right here. Now, typically you wouldn't have to erase your work because you have lots of paper, but because I'm trying to show everything on the same screen. Now, when I'm 
the number one rule for adding, subtracting, or comparing fractions is the denominator has to be the same. So I'm going to turn 1 fourth into 2 eighths, which is going to become 3 eighths. So now I've grouped all of my parentheses together, done all the operations inside of it. I can cross that out and rewrite my next step, which when I combine these, my answer is going to be four holes and three eighths, okay? If you're confused on how to add or subtract fractions, if uh, we actually have a song about adding mixed numbers, please check it out, or you can check out any of our fraction playlist. But again, we're not spending a lot of time on that today because today we're just trying to follow the rules that is the order of operations. If you're stuck on the computational part, please check out one of our songs or other lesson videos. So going back up, I've now evaluated the expression and I discovered that that expression was four and three eighths. Go ahead and try this one by yourself. Now this one I added decimals, okay? Now it's not fractions, but it's the same type of thing. Don't freak out, even though it's decimals or fractions, you're gonna do the same thing. Making sure you follow your rules for multiplying, dividing, subtracting and adding decimals, okay? So if you're ready, push pause and solve it. If not, you can wait and do it with us. Hopefully you just pushed pause and checked it. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna write down my uh, steps over here so I can cross them out as I go, okay? I do not have any parentheses. I don't have any exponents yet, but I do have multiplication, addition and division. So I see that I need to do my multiplication and division first before I do my addition. So I have multiplication and division. I know they're equal to each other, the same fact family, which means I need to go from left to right. So I need to solve the product of eight and four tenths times four first. If you don't know how to multiply uh, decimals, check out our most popular song, our decimal song, which is our first song we ever released for instructional purposes. You can find the link up here on the side. Uh, watch that and then come back and try this out. We also, again, have a lesson for it. But your answer for that when you solved it should be 33 and 6 tenths. And again, I'm gonna rewrite the rest of my steps. Now I can't cross out my multiplication and division line because I still have my division right here. So when I divide three divided by six, that's actually going to give me a fraction of three six, okay? So this one's kind of a challenge problem because now you have a decimal and you have a fraction. Two ways to solve this, okay? When I wrote this, I didn't realize how hard it was. Two ways to solve this, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna turn three six into a, I'm gonna simplify that to one half. And I know one half is equal to the decimal five tenths. So I'm going to substitute this fraction for a decimal. So 3 6 is 0 and 5 tenths, and now I can add those together, add or subtract, don't get caught, line it up, I'll line it up over here, then drop it like it's hot, hot, one of my favorite songs, drop it like it's hot, uh, the, de the decimal song, not the Pharrell song, that is very similar to that, he probably stole our lyrics, but you know, who, I can't prove that. And so my answer is 34 and 1 tenth, okay? That's a higher level question. Um, when I wrote it, I didn't realize you have to divide three divided by six first. I, I didn't mean for that to happen. But as Bob Ross would say, mistakes are happy accidents. Thank you so much for checking this out today. Hopefully this has helped you a little bit, maybe even calm your nerves when you see fractions and decimals inside of order of operations. You realize, hey, I'm doing the same thing. I just gotta follow my steps, right? If you haven't already, please like and subscribe the video. We appreciate you spending your time with Instruct the Beats. Please check out our last video in the playlist, video number four, which we will be diving into exponents, and then you will be an order of operations master. Instruct the Beats, out.